on to you Pisces out here so you have the strength the eight of wands and you Pisces have the ten of wands so these three cards right here for you Pisces speaks to how a lot of you very much so are um a lot of you actually are saving up how do I say this a lot of you Pisces are saving your love for the right person there's a sense of you have some things that you want to do right but you want to do it with the correct person um, a person who is a good match for you Pisces they're gonna have a wonderful time they should have a wonderful time right um, especially if they're healthy as well they should have a wonderful time with you Pisces and because of it um, like I said you're just waiting for the right type of person to actually show up right right now you haven't really met the right type of person basically and then you have the temperance and the two of cups uh a lot of you have uh, a lot of you are selective about the type of people that you interact with because not everybody is good for you and you realize obviously right ad nauseum you pisces are a zodiac sign that understands that you know what i'm saying almost better than anyone you know you and virgos almost better than anyone because you constantly have to deal with people and they're shifting. They're constantly moving a goal post because they full of it no matter what. They want this particular situation to happen because they are constantly moving the goal posts, you know. But the truth is, is that everybody sees through the lies now, right? Like people don't get a pass nowadays because everybody essentially sees through the lies. And what I mean when I say that, they see through the lies. I mean, from the perspective of, you know, people can't hide the fact that they like dysfunctional people as significant others. You know, they, they spend so much time talking about how the other person is not good for them and all of this and this, this and that, the third or whatever. And it's like, they could say whatever it is that they want to. Cause at the end of the day, if they really liked someone that was on point, right? Why is it that you always see them smashing hanging out with hearing about this always seen out with these people it's because they like these individuals so as a result you pisces understand that there's no point in you trying to at some point you pisces understood that there was no point in you trying to go and talk to other people there was no point in that there was no point so a lot of you, a lot of you very much so have to be in a situation where you really got to get with somebody who is a good match for you. Someone who has qualities, good qualities. People don't want to say these things, but upstanding, you know, they has character, upstanding, they have integrity. They don't like lying all the time. You know, I understand that everybody lies, but they don't lie to the, to the frequency and to the degree that a lot of other people lie, you know? Everybody lies. Everybody lies. But even I lie. But I don't I don't lie a lot. Right? Everybody lies regardless of maybe you may not have even thought that you lied, but it turned out to still end up being a lie, right? There still lies on that level as well. So the point that I'm trying to make here is is that a lot of you Pisces, you're done with the liars though. People that just lie to you just for no reason and then they end up disappointing you. And like I said before, a lot of you have an amazing experience because what I'm seeing here is, is that, uh, you know, you Pisces, like I said, y'all are single, but you Pisces are like, hey, for the person that actually, you know, has the ability to kind of get through the defenses, get through, you know, your selection process, then they have to be good, right? They have to somewhat be, you know, at least amazing to a certain extent, because I'm seeing how a lot of you Pisces are learning to really look at the person for who they are and where they could be. And if, and if they're not in a good position now, doesn't matter about where they could be, because that's one thing that I have to admit that I used to hang out with some people about. It's the, it's the potential, right? Hanging out with some goofy 
individuals and whatnot because of the potential. They come and buy and always asking me for five dollars and all this goofy stuff and then getting offended. And it's like, listen, you are an adult. You need to get over this. And then you have the uh, page of, excuse me, you have the two of cups right here. And then they got to act like they into me and all this other type of unnecessary nonsense. Like, stuff is lame, yo. Um, while at the same time still liking me, it's just, it was just lame. So I'm saying all that is to say that you have newfound wisdom to be able to decipher, to be able to determine if a person is worth it or if they're not really going to be worth it. And you're able to come to this, to this understanding very quickly. It's not going to last a very long time. See, the more you know how other people think, the more you understand other people, is the less time you'll waste trying to get to know them. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, especially people who are dysfunctional, they're monotone. They're they're the same stuff. They all they all have this propensity to want to make themselves look good, as best looking as possible. They always deliberately miss the point. They're constantly going off of a script. Uh, they're constantly thinking about what other people will think. The narrative, right? There's this obsession with being cool, right? Constantly being cool. It's like you can't actually get to know these people, who they actually are, right? They're just going with what's popular, with, which, which is what is cool, and that's what it is that they like. You know, I remember like liking. I I remember liking anime before it was cool. Computers was uncool. Like if you know what I'm saying, like if you was on a computer. Anybody who knows what I'm talking about, if you were on the computer back in the 90s coming up, you were a geek, you know, and I was small. I was young in back then. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, people, I would get called a geek or whatever the case may be or whatnot. Now, all of, all of the days, everything is over the Internet. Now, people sitting on the Internet now longer than ever. Like, <laughs> so the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician right really represents because you air excuse me you pisces i just thought about I, I wonder why but anyway you pisces definitely have your situations together it could be an aries right that you, you walked away from but you pisces have your stuff now together more than you have have had in a very long time um the eight of pentacles you don't want anybody coming in and messing that up you know if 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 it's a disturbance in the force if it's a disturbance disturbance in your particular forest that you've cultivated right this forest that you see here this this uh this forest this uh amazing uh oasis that you've created for yourself that is your life then you're gonna essentially kick them up on out or you're gonna get rid of the disturbance before it becomes a serious problem right you're going to start you're going to stop problems before they even begin and so because of it the eight of pentacles right here represents how because your life again you pisces got a lot of good things going on for yourself the magician right here represents because you won't allow yourself to be uh caught up in some nonsense no you understand that you know there is no point in trying to get people over to your side the sun card the three of pentacles and the seven of wands, because all it is that they're gonna do is just waste your time. So the sun card and the three of pentacles represents, so you know not to waste your time now. There's no waste, right? And and, and I was talking to somebody and, and the person who I was talking to a couple of, uh, I think a week ago, shout outs to her. She was talking about how it is that, you know, she was like, she don't really uh, play that or whatever the case may be. And that, you know, a lot of times people who play games and waste uh, absorbent amounts of time or whatever, those are people who don't really understand themselves. And she's 100% correct on that. She's absolutely 100% correct on that. You know what I mean? A lot of the times people be not knowing who they, who, they, who they are. So they hesitate. They'll try to make it seem like, oh, let's wait to see what happens. Let's see if this person is into me. Let's see this. Let's see that. And it's like the scenario with that is, this person does like you, but the situation is, is that you wait, right? You hesitate. For you, Pisces, 
you're not doing any of that. If a person isn't into you, then less, then less, then you're just gonna bounce. Because a lot of you Pisces are, understand that there is no point in trying to persuade or get the person over to your side. There's no point in that, right? You're just gonna keep it pushing, seven of wands. But you don't want them to come back if they see you elevate. So let's clarify the seven of wands. The devil card. Um, yeah, the eight of pentacles, two of pentacles, the hierophant. And then you have the uh, Queen of Pentacles to clarify the Seven of Wands. Because like it is, I just finished saying, right? The Devil, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. They see, you know, those types of people that want you to, to convince them of something, they see you elevate, right? They only mess with people that want to see, th that they deem as valuable so that they could suck the value out. No pun intended. <laughs> They can drain the value out of them. They're parasites, basically. That's what it is that they do. Literally, they're parasites. They're parasites. What they want to do is, because they only mess with winners, right? And it's real easy to know who the winners are. Just wait at the finish line and, 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 and see. You know? Wait at the finish line and see. <laughs> see who comes first. See who comes through the finish line first. So, and so the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles represent you, you Pisces are very street smart and you know what type of time it is. But not only that, but you also know that a lot of people out here choosing, or when I say choosing, I mean like, y'all know what that is, but I mean to, to kind of not give it a colloquial thing. A lot of people are out here um, picking people based upon material gains based upon materialism, right? The, 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 the show, the flash, the clout of who they standing next to that they call a significant other or someone that they're dating at the time. So a lot of you Pisces are very keen to that. You're very aware of that. And your life, like I said before, the Hierophant is such an appropriate card for y'all because you Pisces for the whole year, since the top of the year in January, literally the, the, the first week in January, all the way up to now, you Pisces have been doing nothing but getting your stuff right. <laughs> and because of that, a lot of you are in a very wonderful position, right, in life. And you are, you're, you're in tune with the divine, right? Uh, whatever name that you want to give the divine, whatever you want to call it, right? And you, the Hierophant is you because the Hierophant represents how patient you're being in, in the chaos, right? In the fact that so many people are out here dating for the wrong reasons and you Pisces are actually looking to date for the correct reason. So um, let's clarify the three of uh, Pentacles. The Fool, the uh, Six of Cups, the Judgment, the uh, four, yeah, the four swords. Some of the, these cards are so dark. Some of them, and then you have the magician. I'm getting new to road though. Forget about that. I'm gonna still use these, but I'm also gonna get other tarot decks as well. Keep y'all entertained. The fool and the six of cups. To clarify, the three of pentacles represents just as it is that I said before. People see you, Pisces, elevating specifically the people that you try to get to know. And now they're coming back because they parasites. They only want to mess with people who are shining at the time. But this is how they end up getting passed around on either side. Because people who were born with my anatomy get passed around too. They end up dealing, trust me, they end up getting passed around too. You don't want people in the streets knowing you for for, for as Dirty D, they, as Dirty D Rodney. They don't want you. You, you don't want to be named Dirty D. Rodney. That's not a name that you want. And then you have the Judgment, the Four Swords, and the, and the Magician, which represents you, Pisces. You had to get your stuff together. You letting go of this, this. You had to, you, Pisces, let go of all relationships that don't work. But what I'm seeing is some people coming back trying to find out what you, Pisces, got going on because you're too good elevating right now. 
you can you continue to you you double it up like what Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle said double up so that's pretty much it for now comment on the video like the video subscribe to the YouTube channel share the video trying to get the uh, 100,000 subs right now we have 15,900 change just started the 900s in that smash the subscribe button like button hit the notification bell set the notification bell to also you can be notified whenever I drop my video